guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this cabochon pendant necklaces. These are three sizes that I work with. This is a 25 by 35 rectangle pendant. This is a, oh, and they're MMs. This is a 18 by 25 MM. And this is the 25 MM circle pendant. They all have glass cabochons. So if you're interested in learning how I made these cabochon necklaces, continue watching the video. Before we start, let me show you the materials that you're going to be needing for this project. First off, you need Mod Podge, tacky glue, a brush, your printouts, whatever pendant size you're going to use, you print out your images. These are the images I'm going to be using today. And you need your trays. This is a 25 by 35 mm tray. This one is an 18 by 25 mm. This is a 25 mm circle pendant. You need the trays. This is a tray and you need your glass cabochon. Once you have all your materials, we're ready to begin. Okay, before we begin, I'm going to be using one of these images. I have my one inch circle cutter. I'm going to pick an image. I'm going to go with the first one here. Okay, position it where I want it to cut. There we go. This is our 25 mm image. So before I start putting the glue on, I like to put Mod Podge right on top of the image, just a, a thin layer to protect it from the glue. So once I put the glue, the image won't smear. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of, a little bit of Mod Podge. Okay, and I put some on the image. That looks good to me. Now we let it dry. Okay, once our image is dry, now we can add the tacky glue. So I like to add the tacky glue to the glass first, and then I place it onto the image. And I'll show you. I add a little bit more than a pea size glue to the center, just like this. Now I place it on top of the image. I press it down so that the glue will spread evenly. I make sure I don't have any bubbles. Like this. If you're getting bubbles, just keep pressing it down, moving it around to get rid of the bubbles. So this is how it's looking. Now I get my tray and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add the tacky glue right in the center of the tray. A little more than a pea size. Not too much because you don't want the glue to overflow. Okay, so now I'm going to press the glass in, center it where you want it to go. There we go. I'm pressing, there's some of overflow here. I'm going to get a wipe and clean up the excess glue. There you have it. And I do the same process for all different size pendants. I do the same thing. And once you have your pendant done, you can add a, a jump ring and a chain to it. Make it a cute necklace. This is how our pendant turned out today. Here are the, here's the rectangle size pendant. And then here's a smaller size one. There's different kinds of cabochons. You can do the same process we did today for all three. I hope you guys liked today's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.